everyone, this is your Curia Fantastic Worlds, letting you know that visiting hours for Hush House are now open. Welcome back to the Book of Hours in Lovecraft Country. Okay, so, not much to say this time, I think things are straightening up a bit. Let me know, you'll know on the other end of this, obviously. But, let's move on with it. And we are back. Okay, so... As you may note, we have one more herb in case for, you know, cooking purposes, and yeah, we'll probably keep moving slightly in this direction. Now, with this new focus on story time, I actually mix my decisions about which skills to raise quite easier. You see, we're going to go by trying to get as many of these stories unlocked as possible, and we're going to pick ones that have to be large enough for the slot to be open. So, Fusine, for example, can be done by Hushery or is Ethocracy. Now, Ethocracy, we have a level 2. Right here, this is Ethocracy, by the way. You can tell by the image. We have a level 2 open, so that's not a problem, because Pacine is level 2. But on the other hand, Hushery. You'll note that we have the level 3 open. So we need the Pacine to be one level open, in order higher, in order to be able to unlock that story fragment. So, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. I mean, I can probably... We've noticed I can work around alchemy practically at any level now, especially being able to get tier 3 alchemical products. So that's going to be the thing. Now, we can use Lockworks and Clockworks in order to increase it, and we only need two skills. So those skills are going to have to be... Um, with uh, with the lesson, those skills are going to have, to have heart or knock in them. And I don't really have anything. I want to say the Curious Hunch or something, although Curious Hunch has gotten a lot more powerful, and I will show you. But first of all, these will be the two that produce the, skill, the um, memories required to upgrade that skill. And we've got to get the... Um, <clears throat> this skill back because the thing is we've been going out of sign for some time now so we don't want to use up herb by the way for this we do have other options like for example we could just grab the low level wisp to toss this one here put just first there because we're not really working with winter skills at the moment that will give us what we need here and we use the big wrist for this one there you go and we can use the moth based one here with a low level tryst and then toss in Apollo and Arion to get the heart based skill. So that's that done. And of course, we're going to need to keep one shaft for that. But the other shaft we have plans for. As you notice, um, yeah, we're low on Glassmaker Toxic again. We need to get a second one. So what we can do is going to be interesting because I want to show what I've figured out about Curious Hunch. We can go even crazier than we were doing before with the uh, with the uh, magic skeleton back down there. Grab Shamp, grab that, that's two. Then we grab one of the appropriate ones here, say, um, Amethyst. We Iker, Victoria, that's not what we need. Um, was it Doran Wall who has it? Glassfinger. Glassfinger requires us to have any liquid. Now you notice we already have the ten right there, because two, four, and four for a knock, which means we can just toss in water. Doesn't matter. Glass finger toxin out of a glass of water if we have a curious hunch about it. Now, why did I do that with curious hunch? Because curious hunch has got a hell of a lot easier to do. Now, I was asked in the comments why I keep all this garbage sitting around, like every object, because I might find a use for it as long as I have space for it. Now, we've discovered that if I toss something away from the boathouse, I get a loss. There you go. I get a loss. Uh, memory. That's a good one to have because that has winter. That has winter, which means we don't even have to use a penny in order to grab a the grab a impulse, um, a memory anymore to create to create curious hunch. We we can just do it. It's awesome. Anyways, um, we'll need of course to do our usual water thinking. I should probably get another chore as well at some point. Uh, no, health is so much more useful than chore. Let's get our, because we're going to be using water like crazy today. And now we get to what we're actually reading. Now I've decided the next one I want to bring up is Disciplines of the Hammer, because that'll give us levels 4 and Nyctodermy. If you look over here, I think Nyctodermy is one of the ones we have the most of at this point. Bosk is all over the place, but yeah, Nyctodermy. Now we will need a 4 for that in order to unlock it. In addition, we should probably check to see, yeah, Illumination also going to need a four or three actually so we're good there but we do need to get that one up a level in order to do that we're going to need to increase the uh edge or forge fortunately one the lowest light rated the lowest rated book we have right now as sun his course is a spindle and a sickle and eclipse which means it will give us a if you look down here sickle and eclipse 
or the, that. It'll give us an edge one. An edge one also works with distance of the hammer. It's all about the connections. It's all connected. Anyways, let's get this one red. Um, now, it's fairly easy. It's an eight edge. We can get two edge here. And, of course, we can get an insane amount of edge for uh, one of our inks. But let's see what we can do here. Like, this one is a four edge, which is good. That would be a total of... Let's see, we need this one as edge as a principle. We can put this in here. We can toss in Ix Marshall. So he's going to give us a total of four. We then can toss in metal. Gives us a total of six. And that means we just need a memory. And do we have a memory with an edge in it? I don't think so. We're kind of short in memories and do a lot of work there. Yeah, this one. That's a bit much, though. I think we might have a two edge ink up here. Right, because we don't want too much of an ink here. Alright, so we got... That's only one edge, unfortunately. Hound's Gall is also only one edge. Hmm. Do we have a two-edge tool? I don't think so. Um, hmm. We have to use the big stuff for this. Uh, it's a bit annoying, but I think... That's not it, though. Yeah, it's Nilicon that can do that, which basically means I, I don't need anything else. It's a 13 straight up. So Nilicon's not impossible to make. It's the winter one. So yeah, we've got enough Pergot going on, or essential Paragot, Paragot going on. I think we can deal with this. So yeah. Also, I really got to figure out what Edix Marshall produces um, besides the Woodward Dream, which is too freaking useful. Kind of funny like that. So, but the question now becomes, which is easier to replace? That ink or this? And I'm thinking the Woodward Dream is actually easy to replace. Off the top of my head, we also can, if it's really that important, and it's not, just put in one point end for for uh, metal. So yeah, that'll that'll produce what we want to. And as for the book itself, as the sun his course, Joel of the Bridge, a retired soldier and sometimes tollkeeper, wrote this epic poem about Alexander's famously inexplicable decision. I think we went over this. Uh, yeah, that was when he this timeline. Uh, uh, Alexander did not overextend and get killed by his own people, or a disease. I'm guessing it was poison. Um, and that went back and ruled over his empire for a small degree of time. Which, you know, some people would think was an awesome sauce thing, I guess. I'm just I'm just saying, you know, things happen. It doesn't necessarily have to happen for a reason. Or technically everything happens for a reason, but sometimes it's not a really good reason. Let's hit it. Anyways, we got other stuff to do. Now, um yeah, we definitely, however, need to create a new need to replace our um Sky-based persistent memories. Let's get these two out. That's straight up six, of course. The plus. What do we got here? Um, hmm. Um, don't want to use that quite yet. Or that or that. The shaft we need. I guess we're using the metal, so we're using that up. And where is it? I think. Is that it? No, that's a Derrida lens. Yeah, we need this one. Better black salts, which you've never actually used, by the way. Send in harmony. We need to send in harmony, and then we can create... Oh my god, we've got, like, nothing when it comes to this. Wow. Okay, let's just get a send in harmony, and we can start the whole process of regenerating those memories. Um, hmm, what else are we looking at? Let's see. Memories, memories. Existent memories. We've got the earthquake sign, the net, net name sign. We've got Hive's Lament. This one we'll be using in a bit. So, yeah. Hmm. All right, so let's... I guess we'll need that in a moment as well. Of course, we have to decide which we're going to harvest. Now, we need... We've, summer's almost over, and that will make the beehive absolutely useless for a while. So, what we want... There you go, Path and Pilgrim. We want to get beeswax. We can always use more honey. I'm sure it would be good for cooking and such. So, yeah, we're going to, like, I'm going to save the second health we have here in order for that beehive rather than using it for something else. Which means, since we do want to go beachcombing, since we now can dispose of the sand quite easily and it does have an actual use, let's toss that in. And z stories. there you go. That'll do. Been a while since we tackled the uh, landscape, but yeah. Now, as for cooking... Because we all know we're doing that. I'm just going to try something. I want to get some uh, more batter back. Because I believe that if we combine it with the drippings, it's a new sort of thing. So, let's crack her open. I'm actually kind of curious. I always want to try to stick in spices to see if, if anything new pops up. 
Um, herb. There you go. Nope, does not, unfortunately. But... Alright. Let's get that water we need, because right off the bat we're using up one of our waters. I'm using up a lot of water. Oh my god, I'm out of water. Wow. It was bound to happen eventually. We get a hold of ourselves, but... Alright, so let's get that done. Can't do that combo. What else can we cook, if anything? Um... Butter. An egg or a pheasant. Sugar or flour in a bowl. Spice and molly. Now... Excuse me. Butter. We could... that We have an egg over here, right? We have two eggs. So, if we were to... Let's just test this theory. Let's grab the butter, because, you know, we're going to be buying a lot of food. I can just see that. Now we need a soul card. Scrambled egg. <laughs> Why not? Also, yeah, it's considered ingredient. It doesn't give us any hints. Mm. You know what? Why not? We're going to be using up, like, everything, I'm afraid. I mean, i got to imagine those magic pairs have something. Oh, and that actually reminds me. Maybe we do use that deck health card. Because we don't actually have any C plus pairs. I kind of left them behind. I don't know if they're used for a, um, any sort of ingredient. And, you know, we probably should discover that. Even though it's going to... Because I will regen the health card in here. Swiftly. Um, in order to get it through the bed. And that will be in here in time to get for the second run on the... Honeycomb. Alright, so we need one herb to do that. We're saving the Faust and the Fet and the Shaft for things. Then we'll move forward. I think, yeah. Then to move forward. That was a lot of prep time, but well begun. Well is half done. Not exactly true, but you always want to get your stuff done ready. All right, so while that's going on, let's grab the second oven we've got down here. Throw an herb in. Throw in that. Throw in the flour. So see if the spices add anything. Make batter. Because I want the batter and the drippings together. Spices add anything? Probably not, but you never know. Nope, just cordials. Alright, so let's get the batter done in the secret temple. Just kind of plain for that sort of thing, I'm thinking. Alright. Pause again. Memory sound. Oh, we can actually use that for the upgrade. Silly me. Oh well, we'll deal with it. But yeah, we'll need this for in six seconds, so go for it. The first ten seconds of this is still rather eventful. Alright. See, the memory loss... There we go. Let's grab the key. Off, thank you. Doesn't frighten me as much as it used to. It's almost angelic now, which is probably a very bad sign. I've been hanging around it for far too long. Oh no, where'd the key go? How did I manage to lose the damned key? Oh wait, did I put it over here? I did not. Well, I'm going to have to find the damn key at some point. Oh, which sucks. That's why you put things back, damn it. Where did it go? It must have scampered somewhere around here. Not in our bed and sheesh. Well, that sucketh. All right, we'll keep an eye out for it. Scream at me in the comments if you see it. No, I don't get to, but I don't find it by the end of the episode. Um, but yeah. Key. Did I leave it down here? Did I try to get clever? I'm very bad when I get clever. That's going to be useful. Um, the hell is this? A salon in the House of Voices, an eccentric or at least atmospheric choice of venue for a salon. Here we might have 11 seas in the morning or afternoon tea later in the day. Neither event should include intoxicating drinks. Hush House, an empty place traditionally left for Verena. Protectors of the Hush House want secretary person to curio. If you want to propose to Verena, seat them here. Ooh, guest. Guest, guest. Oh my god. Well, that's gonna be things we fool around with later. Um, yeah, where's the... Oh, did I put the key over here because I thought that would be appropriate? Did I put it here? Oh, man. Now I feel bad. Got all of these things that I should be doing, and I own... Now the problem is you can't keep track of everything, so... Without the key, what do we do? I'll have to get it back the conventional way, I guess. Unfortunate. Until we can actually find the damn key. Because we had it, damn it. We had it. 
Annoyed. Oh, thank God, found it. Must have put it on the wrong table by accident. Well, that didn't take too long. Not, nothing I need to cut out. Anyways. Memory loss goes here. Chapter goes there. And, of course... No, wrong one. No, now it's gotten a hell of a lot easier. I don't need that penny. I need. I can need anything I can throw away. God knows I've been a bit of a pack rat. So it's going to be even easier to have that lovely skill. That's ah, good. It's good sometimes. All right. Now I was. Hmm. Deep breath. Now that's just weird. <laughs> Hope we're feeling better. You know, it sucks that I don't have water right now to do that with, but you know what I do have? I got a lot of other stuff. I mean, what's the tea I have so much that I have the extra of down here? Where is it? Ah, up here. That's Veiled Goddess. Now, I know I must have in the beverage bar here a Veiled Goddess. I think it's that one. Yep. Because I don't actually need water. I need anything. And, you know, I could just make more tea. All right. Take that. Instead of having a usual water, we can just, you know, be decadent for a moment. Have some, have some lovely... Have some lovely tea. It's, you know, proper in British. Okay, then. Deep breath. Mm. Mm. We all, however, are going to need the bloody... um. Oh, yeah, probably. I haven't even thinking about this. Uh... So we're going to need to recharge in a bit. Because we're going to need a shaft. I used up both of them by accident. Oh, well. I will get over it. Hmm. How are we doing? Hmm. Interesting. Deep breath. Hmm. Although I should probably... Yeah, let's... Um Let's see. So much to do. Oh, there's our first minute blues, as it were. Okay, so. While we're here, and I can see the damn thing. Scrambled egg with bacon. Scrambled eggs were the breakfast of the Empire. In those less hypnotic times, Empire is optional as is bacon. Oh, God, Alexis just likes to do this tongue-in-cheek. All right, scale, heart, grail, and sky. Interesting, and a first course. Okay, we've got that. If we wanted to use it for whatever reason. All right, let's let the other stuff go. Okay, so, again, we have to hit the sideboard over here. Okay. I'm going to find a way to use that. Maybe we'll start classifying. I'm probably have to start moving this up again. Better. Okay. Now we're going to get this one. All right, so let's go back up to the kitchen. Batter. As you notice, it says add drippings for something horrifyingly tasty, and this must be an example of British food that I'm unaware of, so let, let's... Ooh, can't use it. Adds drippings. This is dripping. Interesting. You need spices? Possibly. Nope. Interesting. Oh my god, I can make orange jumble. I thought I said orange juice for a second. How the hell do I make orange juice? Oh my god. You said this is batter and dripping for something horrifyingly tasty. With a knife. 
refuse dripping to exalt potatoes at full potential. Huh. Unfortunate. Could use that for something else. Maybe if I add the knife, it would be better. I don't know. This is just me reaching. Nope. Huh. Add dripping... Uh... Oh, well. Oh, we could do, but that's not going to work. All right. I guess it all goes back. That's unfortunate. That's interesting, but unfortunate. I thought that it would let me do something interesting. I've really got no fear that it won't be used for something, however. Let's put our um, erstwhile ingredients over here. With that one, at least, the batter. We'll figure out something to do with it. Now, also, I was told if I examine one of these, I can choose vegetables. So let's get that, see if that actually is the case. Since I'm not going to have the earth. Oh my god. Identify as a marrow, potatoes, pumpkin, onions, or leek. I have to buy potatoes. So yeah, and then I'll need to, of course, get more of these. <sighs> Which means I have to... God. I'm going to have to get more health, too. Alright, cool. Potatoes it is. So, no more needing to buy potatoes. Good. Yeah, we're probably going to do our whole two thing here, which means we're going to be working that garden all summer. And i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the vegetable soup. I mean, why not? Probably wasn't the wisest thing to do, but you know, I could be hungry. I mean, I'm getting freaking hungry sometimes when I do this. All the food things that go through. All right, so sixpence. Now what we need, what we need is probably I'm gonna wait until I get one of the health cards back and then use that up so I can get another, we can get a bag to replace it with. So we should probably check this out. Uh, Alexander meets at Isseus with Darius. Okay, hang on. Darius, king of kings, for three days and three nights. On the first day, the two men trade threats, and the second promises and third secrets. Darius tells Alexander something so shattering that he returns to his tent to consider matters of strength and mastery. Again, the law of rebellion, which means that all authority will inevitably produce rebellion against it. The dynamic between the colonel and the lionsmith, as they represent. Oh my god. Hey, we got another mackerel, which is good. Can poach one of those. I need one of them anyways. Glass finger toxin. We can just put that in its usual place here. Gold pears, which, by the way, is an ingredient. So we can use it. I was right. Water. I think she definitely... Beeswax, exactly what I wanted. And the Ascended Harmony. All right, let's knock this out first. Okay, first of all, we're going to need the Ascended Harmony here. Then grab these two. Gives us 12, which also gives us... Apple Bright's got it, right? Didios, which we don't have, so we might as well just get that knocked out. Two minutes from now. Okay. Now, meanwhile... You're almost done. Excellent. Oh my god, I'm going to need another tea. Okay, cool. There's the goddess tea there, because... Oh, wait, no, we have water now. What am I worried about? There. Now, with that's going on, we need to get the pears back into place. The pantry's not going to be large enough, is it? Oh my god, she's adding up. There you go, pears. We'll figure out how to do that later. And, of course... We're keeping the fish in here. Because remember, we have that preservation spell. It really doesn't matter. I mean... Pickle them alone, or they're pretty good on toast. So we need to make bread. Should be easy enough. We've made flour. Oh god, I can't make flour here, obviously. And the question being, now that we have this third one, which one of the things do we want to do? Okay, so 
the health one's about to come back up. This needs to be used immediately for a shop so we can get that skill done. See, so grab that, grab the shilling, and be done with it. Deep breath. All right. Do it again. Okay, so we got the water and the key. Let's get the key back in its usual place so I can't lose track of it again and get annoyed. There you go. Meanwhile... A appetite satisfied. Not bad. Also, we can use that one to do some modifications when we get to that point. Okay, let's just move forward, shall we? All right, so let's get this going. Now, we need to regenerate another one. It's probably going to be another health, just because everything is getting so healthy around here. Now, let's get the water back in place onto here. Obviously, we're going to need more. We need that health for probably this. Let's go. We're going to have nothing to do but pick bags of vegetables when it comes to the... Uh, autumn here in the garden so let's see what we can get something honey at least it's still good okay now a minute from now we can do that and we're almost ready here with the book all right at dawn on the fourth day, Alexander announces, the sun has its course upon which he returns, and so do I. This is, again, the alteration in the timeline between ours, where Alexander continues until he exhausts himself, and here he returns to, to, serve his, uh, to serve his empire. He returns to Macedonia, executing two of his captains they dispute his decision. Those are the two that probably killed him in our timeline. He brings with him the names of a blind god, which, of course, is the colonel who is blinded so that his sight of the seven coils would not kill him and a rite of sacred betrayal, a.k.a. the lionsmith. For Joel opines without betrayal, there is, would be an end to war. Possibly. Take on Eclipse and Memory Contradiction. we got a lot to work with here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use all of these, is my fear. Okay, so this is an edge book, so we can put it here. This is... No, okay. Six, there we go. Goes right there. Fine. Make this difficult. Okay. There we are. Alright, so, yeah, we got, like, stuff to do. Need, need to wait on the regeneration of... Yeah, we just need more and more soul fragments at this point. It's probably going to be a story time every freaking day at this point. I mean, every freaking episode at this time. Just so we can don't have to wait on all this regeneration constantly. <sighs> I mean, it's only just past noon. We've already burned everything out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely need to increase that one. Alright. Shapt. Okay, I don't really care about keeping pennies anymore, so we can get that all condensed. Alright, so... Right. Which we were doing before. It's be easier to catch this way for scene. Lock works. Okay. Memory sound. And which ones can we fit in here? So memory storm or satisfaction. Now the thing is, I can sleep on this one. I don't think I can sleep on storm. So then we throw in effort and we are done. Now I got a lot of other things to consider. But in the meantime. Since we probably would want to be using this here as long well with this. Can we do this? Sunny, because we don't need that one, actually. So, Sunny and Contradiction and... Where is it? Sunny and Contradiction and... Edge. Hmm. Or Light. We know how to generate a... A uh, lantern one real fast, don't we? Hmm. No, Nyctodermy, this is the one we need. We need another edge forge. Hmm. Hmm. Edge or forge. 
I don't think we have. Because that's when we wanted to go to level 3 because of Hushri. This one's different. Dermy, I mean, has level 4. Elimination. So yeah, we need or We do this one. Elimination, Hushri. I don't think it's just... Yeah, we need to do this one. Which needs another freaking way to do it. Uh. Hmm, edge. Make edge really easy, remember? I think, is Lost got edge to it? Uh-oh. I gotta remember now. I know it has winter, but what's the other one it has? Excuse me? Hmm, memory. Notes. Edge, yep. Okay, we're good there. So what we can do is just take another one of these. Toss it out. I mean, we're always gonna have more stuff we can get rid of. Oh, loss. That'll produce what we need without the necessity. But we're obviously going to need an edge when it comes to doing so. So let's uh, throw in an herb. There you go. Mm -hmm. Plenty of time, though. Ah, deep breath. Now we got a bunch of lessons to work with, but we're just seeing them as they're just potential, as it were. There you go. Gonna have to, we're going to have to use memory pattern for that, which isn't really a problem. Good. <laughs> Satisfaction can definitely be used elsewhere. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be work. Feels now level three. Good. it gets to after a while. Okay, so. Alright, so originally the purpose of this is going to be... Hmm, oh. So, more beeswax. Awesome sauce. Now, like I said, the original purpose of this was going to be for... Um, yeah, might as well use it again. I mean, or I can use it for more water. Hmm. F4, I'm going to be using a bunch of these. Yeah, probably we're better off going with water. Get another two off the bat there. And yeah, we've gotten lucky with the with the with uh, this. We're going to have to do some serious um, candle making at some point. Yeah, you can put that on the book itself, which is kind of interesting. It's all just pretty pictures. Herb, excellent. Uh, so, there we go. This one's at the hammer. Okay, so, memory pattern, memory contradiction, memory loss, uh, herb, and the lesson. There you go. Done. Now, what should we regenerate here? Because, oh my god, we're constantly doing... We're Gonna need more. Okay, so what we've got left is Sunny and Memory Satisfaction. Satisfaction can be rolled over, Sunny cannot. So we're probably going to try to use that for. We use it with Frost. Can we get a. To, you know, we can use it with Frost if necessary to generate. Um, it's not actually necessary. We can do that with just the instruments, but can we get a 15 going with 6, 2, 4, plus 3? Mm, probably not, because it's three, three, one. Mm. What else can we do with it? Not a ten. We'll figure out something if we need to, but probably since this is, we'll probably go with this. All right, go for it. I think we're actually gonna net low on this one. All right, yeah, yeah. 
when that comes through, we'll probably just... All right, and this one. Oh, boy. Not much time remaining after we get this one done, so it has to be done real fast. My thought is, actually, since this one's got a hushery that will require a four as well, to bring it up. So, in order to do that, we just need lantern. I mean, I could do it. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. See, what we'll do is we'll, we'll use Faust, the Sunny, and this to bring it to level two. That'll be that. So now we need to pick something else we need to do. Um, but with just anything at this point. Do we want to? Hmm. Probably just to do another health. We can always use more gathering, you know what I mean? Speaking of which, did we didn't get much from the uh, over here, did we? Hmm. Yeah, we'll do the health plus. And we'll have to... Alright, health plus. I could overshoot it and go into the next day, but I'm okay with that. <sighs> Sigh. Let's get the this bit to place now. I think this needs to take go over here on the shelf, since we've actually started to make room for it. As it's not a terribly critical item. Probably end up tossing the rose stuff first, though. Okay. When we get the bed back, we'll dream on satisfaction, and that's going to mean that we're not going to waste a... We're not going to waste a memory, which is kind of where I go with this. But we're going to need another Ascended Harmony. Yeah. This one's a hammer. is now level four. Go for it. Although, you know, vegetables do. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, deep breath. Hell of a day. All right, so we actually think about um, getting some of these to safer quarters. All right, so can we actually get them down here to be guarded? Now, that's a question. I don't actually... Oh, there it is, right there. Yep, we're going to let... Even though she's not an edge guilt, you get so she edge so often. I think it's just appropriate. Lost Sunny... Do we have a lesson? Do we have a lesson? I don't have a lesson, do I? Oh, I completely forgot about that part. <laughs> we don't have a lesson appropriate for this. So, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with it. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so, another possibility. Nine. Yeah, I don't think we can actually do that because the best we can be able to do yeah, is 14. We need plus one. We need the Faust plus, which we didn't have access to to recover. But we've always got use for a um, talent. And the Sunny, if we lose it, it's not a huge thing. Hmm, fact, what should I do? You know, I could use it for. Just let this. I'm trying to get greedy about it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Nighttime, can't do it at night. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna, like, let's, let's open something, okay? Let's see, uh, boom. And in luggage. Lost. There you go. Edit. What does this do? Release beasts. Okay. Alright, so we've got... I forget, I forgot we're doing the damn health at this point. Um, not a lot of time remaining, so... What could we do? Speaking of which, let's get... Satisfaction. Still dreaming on that lovely, lovely stuff. Okay, so when it comes to this, we probably have less than 30 seconds left. We probably should do nothing additional for the... Um, should do is this. Wait, actually, what we could do. This is actually an interesting idea. So we can actually. We, this is going to overshoot, of course, but could use it to grab the water we're using up because that's just going to mean that we get it back a few seconds earlier than the usual minute and a half, which is good. I think good now. I think. Oh god, now what else? Okay. We fill. Which, but the few times that button is actually useful for me. Alright, cool. Get the water back in place. 
Oh, we had a day. Yeah, I didn't use the sunny, and I spent way too much time thinking about how I could do it. Sometimes you just better let things go. All right. And weather this time around? Rain, which of course we can always use for something. Oh, gods. And the memory satisfaction. So now we have to determine. Well, we've got two grail. We don't, however, think we have a grail lesson. We do. So we need to think about which grail. Okay, so we're going to go offline for a bit and do some thunk on. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so yet again, another story time, kids. It's going to be a bit of a longer one. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to be using Birdsong Level 2. Now, the reason Level 2 is that the um, skill I have here is going to be the most fun is Vak. This is probably going to be the one I use as well. The language skills tend to have the more interesting stories. So it's probably going to be the one I use here, but we'll go through um, all of them in time. An opportunity, something not commonly understood. There were no Kalaptra, which is the people who are forbidding knowledge. To conceal Paris knowledge, there would be no Vak, which is to speak no forbidden knowledge. A door opens both ways, is understood by scholars of the arts unregarded. So that means that um, if there were no secrets, there would be no truth. Everything has its own opposite balance. Okay, so what else have we got? Let's do it from the bottom, actually, since we kind of started there. What remains? Cut a thread and tapestry remains. Bird song follows the thread. Um, hmm, however, ooh, we may not want to use this one. Nictodermy Drami is over here, and it's got to bring it to level four in order to find it. So yeah, I guess we're not doing that one. Hmm. So I have to be one of the other ones. That's fine. We can live with that. Let's see what else we got. Hill and Hollow. In the beginning, the Carapace Cross served the first hours, the gods born from stone. The first of the Carapace Cross were the Thrid... Rintigi kind, which were sought the monarch at the crossroads, which would be their version of. I don't know what that would be. To rule them wisely and found them in themselves, which they began as many ended as one. This is a riddle, rule makers know its importance. Monarch at the crossroads ruled them wisely and found them him in themselves, who began as many and ended as one. Could that be the seven coils? No, it doesn't sound like wisely. That's interesting. Monarch of the Crossroads could also mean Monarch Butterfly, which could mean Moth as well. But it's quite white mid as well. Hmm. Interesting. I need to think about it. Also, it could be male or female. But. If you have any idea who that could be, let me know. I mean, after all, most of you are following along, as it were. When it comes to the Hill House lectures, Coral. The Legion Medusa has said that she might be the oldest of her kind and still living, and she is dead. Now, I believe this one also has over here, so we're probably picking this one to go. Of the Legion Medusa, it has been said she might be the oldest of her kind, still living, and she is dead. Scolosophilists might interpret this as she is the oldest of the Sigazlal kind, which is to say the carapace lineage famed for the breadth of their wisdom, the complexity of their teeth. Is that Medusa the monarch? That can't be it either. Oh, God, this is... You'll never know everything, by the way. That's one of the first rules. You will never know anything. Everything. May never know anything. All right, so... Preservation. I can't get this one to preservation, can I? Because it's a level four, it's a level three, so I can't use this one. Up. Oh, this... Oh, right. The Falconer's Tale. There's a very old story told by the Falconers about the Abiform Hours, the secret gods who take the shape of birds. Once there were only five. Dove, crow, laughing thrush, king kites... The six fell to the fall into the talons of an owl, and they sought another to join their company. But the crow rejected half of all they found, the dowdiness of their plumage, and the dove rejected the others for being far too gaudy. So it's neat. The crow would say that they're too too uh, pretty, and the dove would say that they're too plain. At last, they found a nightbird whose feathers were both the perfect white and the perfect black of the crow and the dove. But once they accepted him, they learned he was no bird at all, only a night flitting moth. Fortunately for the moth, their pride kept them from admitting their mistake, and since that day, they have from power. I think we've done this one before, but again, we can't chew up that one, so yeah, it's probably going to have to be pertinent and percursors. Let's do stories. It's level four. We can't use that. The Legia Morgan, holder of the key of black sapphire, which is the key of death, by the way. Seaborn Tydron. Did she come from Yis behind the wave? If you speak your name with the rising of the moon, can we summon that old song of flutes? You can use a bone flute to summon her in exile. That's what it's referring to. The exile DLC. The Roost, a thief of sights, a scavenger of thrones, a border weaver, and a thief of knots, a thief of colors, and a thief of bones. This is bird song. My guess is those are the six they have reform powers. You can probably guess which one they are by each. Not. Off the top of my head, though, but yeah. I'll be able to get that from the wiki. If you're interested, I can try to trace it down. That's what we got. 
And we got this one, four stone stories. The hour is called the flint and the wheel are gone, but the blood of their name emanations is mixed with the blood of mortals and from the line of Antios. Beware. Be careful. If the enough Antion blood is spilled, the flint and the wheel might wake. This is remembered in the Songs of Warning, which means that if the exile actually does become the eternal combatant with his father. Uh, yeah, that could spell the end of everything. The sanctify the wolf's return. The sanctioned version of the Book of Sun says the wolf divided was awoken by the sun's division. We know this, the wolf. We know this. We know from this that the wolf was its own hour, even when the sun was whole. I told you that the dire wolf, the devourer of all things, which is always waiting when everything falls apart to consume it, so we can start again. We glean and we guess the sun might be healed and that the wolf might return to its slumbers. We glean and guess that a second dawn would bring peace and the wolf would fight to prevent it. This is bird song. So the wolf is suppose the chandler's rise. That's uh, easy to understand. I think, yeah, that's it. So what we're going to do is drop in pertinence and we are going to grab. Sure. There's a reason for that. There you go. Now we're sure the beeping's coming from. All right, then. We are, in fact, moving on. This is your Curia Fantastic Worlds, letting you know that the visiting hours for Hush House are now closed. Please put your books back onto the shelf and make your way back to the exit. We will see you next time at Book of Hours in Lovecraft Country. And just to let you know, supporters, the next episode of Baldur's Gate 1 should be coming out the Sunday after you get this, okay? Make sure not... If it goes astray, please let me know, okay? I'll catch you next time. Bye. Like, share, subscribe. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the dark lords of content and data.